Hello there. Today we are taking a look at Ubuntu Mint. I don't think that's the all name or whatever it's. M A T. I think it's M A T E. Something like that. I, I don't know. But, uh, anyways, yeah, we're going to boot it up here now. I already did another take of this, so one thing I realized is this kind of resembles like a bit like older Ubuntu, like, um, like Ubuntu 14.04 or something like that. But, uh, this doesn't use like older Unity or something or anything like that. This is a desktop environment that kind of more resembles uh, Gnome, Gnome 2, which I kind of like, um, Gnome 2, too, just the way it's laid out. I mean, I like, well, they call it Plasma now, but I call it KDE, still. I like KDE. See if it will maximize or if we're too late for that. Or if it even does that with, um, uh, this version. <laughs> you know, with, um, like, new versions of the regular Ubuntu, it'll actually f um, fill up the screen. Mm, yeah. Uh, yeah, one thing I noticed is this operating system is very green. Very, very, very green. I guess that goes along with Mint. Uh, so we're gonna click install Mint. Yeah. I figured I should try this out and make a video. Now we're gonna go through the um, install process quickly and um, maybe do a couple things. Um, I don't think I'm gonna do that on camera now. Um, so yeah, um, we'll do that. Um, momentarily but yeah we're going to um, click yeah we're basically going to go through the install process and we'll try um, other things later I'm going to take a break for a while from this after we get installed Zone yet. We gotta wait for that. Here we go. Um, I don't know why it thinks New York, but I am in the uh, Los Angeles uh, time zone. In that time zone. <clears throat> just for the heck of it. Tanner virtual box, that's fine. Uh, do the password, okay. Um, hopefully I can enter them both right. Alright, um, now here comes the part where gonna pause because this uh, next part is going to take a little while you know I, I was looking at the file and I'm like 1.9 gigabytes but then I looked at like Kabun Kaboom 2 and that's like 2.2 gigs so this is actually a bit on the smaller side but not as small as other things 
It's funny on that diagram how they put a heart. <laughs> Does that like represent community? I'm gonna minimize this because it's not using the full resolution anyway, so it doesn't matter. So apparently, um, <laughs> they have Minecraft for Linux now, which um, is uh, inter interesting. Oh. See, this is a lot like GNOME 2, which is what Ubuntu used to use years ago. It's got the music player that's like that and everything. It's, it's basically like old school Ubuntu. I want OBS, not that. <laughs> All right, we are now um, on the uh, restart uh, section. Go ahead and move the disk. It's weird how it won't let you do it, but then <laughs> it has you reject it. That's kind of silly. Actually, it will eject itself automatically. Enter because it always ejects it automatically anyway, so. <clears throat> Alright, so we're now booting up. Login screen looks like GNOME 2. No, it doesn't. It looks like Unity. Unity. Um. <clears throat> that would have been cool. What's the login screen looks like. An old too. <clears throat> it's funny because um, Ubuntu used GNOME, then they switched to Unity, and then ultimately they <clears throat> switched back to GNOME. And uh, here we go. We got a uh, very nice desktop environment here. I don't know if we have um, DKMS installed. Um, I don't know if this has DKMS. Um, um, yeah. <coughs> probably doesn't. I probably need to get DKMS. What did I do? Did I do anything? I think I did it right. to use gosh oh the time's in 24 hour for some reason it's in 24 hour format <clears throat> I wonder if I can fix that well I'm sure I can uh, I don't know if it, I don't know if it messed up, let me see. Um, let's reboot real quick. I don't know how, uh, GNOME 2 handled. Uh, I think, I think it just shut down, because 
actually uh, used a screen to 9.10, which used GNOME 2. It's actually <laughs> the last version had the uh, orange theme, the uh, human theme. Hey, where's Perry? <laughs> we're booting up here and trying to at least. Do 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 I probably have to use Epgit and install DKMS do 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 I don't you know they didn't get the startup sound though that would have been cool enough. Yeah but then Yeah, that old classic startup sound. They got rid of the one for KDH. For Kubuntu too. Not cool, man. Not cool. Um, wh uh, that works. It's uh, having a bit of trouble resizing the uh, wallpaper. Um, uh, well, <laughs> try it now. <laughs> um, oh, okay. Then it's Gila. Let's go ahead. And, um, okay. We're getting the welcome center. Um, I'll pay attention to that in a minute. I want to reject that. Ooh, a device is being addicted. Uh, information. I'm not really gonna read up on this. Apparently, there's social links. That's something new. I've never seen that before in a, uh, welcome thing. So, um, this isn't exactly like the, uh, GNOME 2 menu, but, hey, it works. Firefox, I have no really... Going back to, like, the Windows 95 day. It's like, well, not Windows 95, but, like, Windows XP days where there were sound effects when you... Let's see if I can get that going. Oh, let's see if I can get the sound up so you can hear that. That's where it adds a sound for when. Whoa. That's uh, interesting. So, please tell me to do that, but. Let me do other things. Well, then why is the category there? <laughs> Seriously, why did they put that there if there's nothing to show there? Um. Yeah, but what I like about this desktop environment is it resembles uh, GNOME. Apparently, this is single click. I guess. Oh no, it's it's double click. I just double clicked twice. Uh, so let's see here. We got some uh, folders. Um, do we have a marketplace? Softwares. Oh, cheese. Try that, but I don't have a webcam at the moment. What would even make the. Wow, apparently these people believe in sounds. Oh, yeah. And then the mobile desktops. <laughs> Just like in GNOME 2 and then Windows. Yeah, this is a lot like GNOME 2. And we should have some kind of software center. I mean, if it doesn't, it's not that big, big of a deal. Because this is an Ubuntu based distro. So we can just go. I'm probably going to expel this one. Pseudo at get upgrade and type in a 
password. Uh, yes, continue. Boo. Oh, crap, I typed T. That's stupid. You, you do it wrong and then it aborts it. Yes, please, continue. Ah! 99% working. Huh. Well, we're gonna let this update and then we're gonna get GIMP. It's GIMP. I started using GIMP again recently on Windows and, you know, GIMP is a nice image editor. You know, the only really thing I've done with it is, uh, change, well, so far anyway, is change the color of a car. But, I don't know. I used uh, Paint.net before, but GIMP is probably a million times better, so, <laughs> than Paint.net. And it's available on Linux, and... Oh, do they have... I don't think they have a Mac version. They might have a Mac version. I don't know. I don't... I don't really use Mac OS, so I couldn't... I couldn't say. Um... No. But I think it's really cool when there's programs that are available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. Um... <laughs> Okay, well, I guess I typed the right command because it's uh, doing stuff. Pseudo apt get upgrade. So, we're going to do this and then we're going to get GIMP and then I think we'll continue this tomorrow. So, uh, nice background though. Let's see if I have any different ones though. Um, Firefox is up there, that's nice. And just click it. I, I I I like this desktop environment. You got a nice menu up here. Uh, definitely not used to hearing a sound like that whenever you do anything, you know. You know, because it's like we're not in like the Windows 98 days anymore. Kind of cool how it has kind of the older style of a do theme up here. I wonder if they actually have the light theme. System tool. Uh, it's kind of weird. Kind of odd. It's not an your setting. Um, what am I looking for? I'm looking for system settings. Yeah, and it's also kind of weird how it's inconsistent. Only. That and that and no low sound. It also makes sound when you close them, so it's just kind of odd. I'm sure you. I'm sure there's a way you can turn it off. Um. Okay, we're still working here. Uh, what am I looking for? <laughs> oh yeah, I want to change uh, the theme. Personal. About me. You do not need to know about me. Tweak. Uh, I don't need. Well, this makes a lot of sounds. Not used to a modern OS that makes this many sounds. Uh, I should have stopped that concept. Okay. He, whoa! Man, they're very, um. It's not brave, but. Appearance. You know. Oh my gosh, it even has the old selector. Man, that is so cool. Wow, dude. Whoa. Oh my. I can get a blue theme. Look. Let's. Let's. This looks quite old. Oh, classic. We're giving up darker themes if so uh, if you so desire you can pick this theme. 
Or you, yeah, you can pick one of these too, like this one. And it's very dark. And, uh, ooh, apparently we have high contrast. Uh, there's also, oh, um, blue. It's not like this. Kinda looks like, kinda like a little light theme and, uh. Uh, you know, um, like, pre, um, Gnome 3 Ubuntu. It's also black, uh, um, if you, uh, desire that. It's mint day. Okay. Apparently, this is the uh, standard theme for mint day. Whatever this theme is. Yeah, no, I, should probably, I could probably use that one. Just because of how you know, classical it is. Um, I think I'm going to go back to this one. Uh, let's check our terminal. All right, sweet. Um, sudo apt get install g i m p I think gimp. GIP. I think it's GIMP. About to find out. Uh, yes, I would like to continue. <coughs> so, I can't find any sort of marketplace application, so I think our only way is to um, use the uh, software center. Oh, no. Get Maybe I should try Chromium too. See how well Chromium works on this. I guess that, yeah, that shows desktop. So I got multiple desktops down here. Um, cycle bin. Uh, that's something that kind of interests me. How does that work? Do you just drag it down? Oh, yeah, you do. What? <laughs> oh, I thought it said I am trash, but it said one item in trash. Sweet. Whoa. See, this still has lots of sound. Close that. Um, so, I'd like to try one more thing. Let's go down to the trash here. So you can be empty. Whoa. Yeah. Definitely won't make a lot of sounds though. We'll, but we'll make sure you know that it just did something. I think the buttons are reoriented to see if I actually managed to install GIMP. Ooh, I did. GIMP image editor. Yeah, well, this works. Of course, we don't have anything to edit, but we can go to File, and then uh, New. 640, 400. Sure. Whoa. Well, GIMP works. I, I'm not going to do too much with that now. Okay, does this? No, no, it doesn't. Move that out of the way now so I can get to that. So it doesn't do it to the very top like Unity did. Uh, what, please? So that's very cool. Um, this is very nice. We're going to uh, continue later. 
but um, for now we are going to um, call it quits. We'll continue on this tomorrow. I know you can see the date I'm recording this if you're interested. Oh, the time. Um, um, I, I want to quickly uh, see if I can correct the format. It's kind of annoying how the calendar doesn't go away when you do other stuff. Time and date. Just seems like it should be the other way. Um, That's correct. You can set it manually that way if you don't want to. Oh, that's not what I want though. I want software updates. That would probably be a good idea. I know you can run them through the terminal, but I'm not really aware on how you actually do that yet. So we're gonna get that done. So we're going to check for updates. Well, um, we're checking for updates. We're going to do, take advantage of the fact that computers can do multiple things at the same time. Um, sure, install. And we're going to uh, try to fix our format. Uh, we're going to feel impossible. Um. up here, isn't it? Yeah, um, yeah, not too much there. Why does it make a sound every time you press a button? It's kind of annoying, actually. How does it sound? Let's go up here. It sounded like it's like a blow out my speakers. Going to your default or no or no sound. Application. <laughs> like I remember these from somewhere, but I think I did it in uh, Kaban too. So I remember that from hardware. Somewhere. Wait, why did that that didn't make sound? What? Have I managed to turn that off? I think I turned it off. Enable win window button sounds. Yeah, so if we go there and then we uh, so then we go back and then we go here. We set this to Ubuntu. sounds again. Whoa, I just saw like a sticky note or something go by on the screen. It's very odd. Okay, now I won't make a button every time I press something. How about me? Maybe it's in there. Uh, no, it's not there. Appearance? No, I think that's just the background. Teams. Yeah. Uh, apparently, it's kind of it's kind of weird. Oh, it does have background. <laughs> like that's kind of weird. It comes with no background. Um, some nice kind of backgrounds here. Nice ones. Um, including that, which changes. That's kind of nice. I'm not sure how you uh, change what format the time's in. Language and support, maybe it's there. Uh, languages, oh my gosh, that's a little big, a big thing for all the languages. 
available in which to pour a gua. There's no fun on seeing it fly in there. Ah, uh, remind me later. I don't need any other lingua juice. Apply system wide. Locations, yeah. I see what this would be. Got my preferences, maybe. Oh, here we go. Clock preferences. 12 hour. Okay, there we go. We fixed that problem. So, how are we going to do with this? Install whatever it needs to install. I'm going to call it a night. Or is actually true to the progress that's made. Um, um sure we start now. I'm gonna go get something else. Well it's doing that. I'm using a bit of an outdated virtual box, a version of virtual box that isn't the latest, but uh, it hasn't caused any problems so far. And then I think we can shut this baby down. That was a very nice background. I don't know why I like it. Uh, oh my gosh, it's like going back to like Windows 98. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I had to uncheck the, uh, the thing for it to show the thing every time. Oh, you know what? That's kind of a shame. It looks like they updated this a bit, so it no longer has the system or anything there. It just has this big menu. What's on this side? Here, do we have power options here? Yeah, we do. We have uh, shutdown. So we're. I think Ubuntu actually kind of used to. Well, no, it wasn't like this. It was a bit different. But I'm going to shut down now. So that's going to be it for this video. I will see you um, tomorrow if I, if I can remember to um, get the thing going again. So. Uh, bye for now.